on September 20th, 2020, Matt Coletta of Etobicoke, Ontario, Canada, and his friends made history by breaking the world record for visiting the most skate parks in a single day and actually skating on them. The previous record of 31 skate parks was held by Chris Haslam, Mark Appleyard, and Ryan DiCenzo, but Matt and his friends managed to visit an impressive 53 skate parks in just 18 hours. As you approach a skate park, you can hear the sounds of skateboard wheels on concrete, the scraping and grinding of trucks against the ledges and rails. The smell of freshly waxed obstacles fills the air, along with the faint aroma of sweat and determination. The skate park itself is a riot of color and texture with smooth, polished surfaces and rough, rugged edges. The concrete is a canvas, adorned with all sorts of designs and patterns, as well as murals. There's ramps, half pipes, quarter pipes of all shapes and sizes, some with vert walls that tower above you, and others with gentle transitions that roll and flow. There are ledges and rails of every variety, some with graceful curves and others with sharp angles and corners. There's banks and bowls, shallow and gentle, others deep and steep. There's handrails and a set of stairs, some with wide steps and some with flat landings and others with narrow, precarious risers. Every inch of the skate park is alive with motion and energy as skateboarders dance and spin and grind and slide and flip and fly. And some move with ease and grace while others struggle and fall on their face. But all of them push themselves to the limits of their abilities. As you watch skateboarders, you can feel the thrill and excitement of the sport, the rush of adrenaline, and the beat of the music that fills the air. You see the joy and the passion on their faces, the camaraderie and the solidarity of that skateboarding family. Matt Coletta and his friends experienced all of these things on their record-breaking day. The grueling feat took place across southern Ontario in Canada. They started at 5.30 in the morning, and they finished at 11.52 p.m. in their time zone. The group had to navigate their way between each skate park with the average driving time around 5 minutes to 30 minutes. And at some skate parks, they were in and out within three minutes, while others, they spent upwards of 40 minutes on the concrete. Despite having to push through fatigue and muscle soreness and the bitterly cold late summer, early fall temperatures of Ontario, Canada, the young men persevered. It was not the strength of their bodies that counted, but the strength of their spirit. Earlier in the year, COVID lockdowns had temporarily closed many skate parks. But Matt and his friends, they were determined to make their mark in the skateboarding world, in the books of skateboarding history. Their achievement is one of the most impressive in the sport, especially considering that most skateboarders can only dream of living in a town with even one skate park, let alone going to 53 in one day. And it's even more surprising that this record was set in Canada, where one might not expect to find 53 skate parks in such close proximity, but maybe rather be surrounded by moose and mountains. Matt and his friends exemplify the idea that brave people can find triumph in adversity, just as brave soldiers triumph in war. Roger Crawford once said, being challenged in life is inevitable. Being defeated is optional. Matt refused to be defeated. He overcame the challenges in front of him and set an official world record that day. And he is now a Humber College Media Foundations graduate with a passion for photography, videography, and all things creative. He is available for practically any of your photo and video needs at extremely reasonable prices as well. These are 
interesting things with JC.